that's it. Keep it going. You can pretend you're doing all the work at least. You want to explain what you're doing here this year? Uh, Looks like you're making a lot of work for your husband. Yeah, he's been busting his back over here. Trust me, people. You know what's going on behind the scenes. That. Oh. So, what's up? This is the first I've heard of this new uh, adventure here in the garden where we're going to rip everything down and rebuild it. So, I'm trying to put in higher beds so I don't have to bend over to maintain them. But I like watching you bend over. That's really the oh. only way you're getting away with half of this I stuff. I know better than to answer your questions. Well, so you're going to make higher beds. They're going to be probably 18 inches. Like these are a foot high, so I'll probably go another maybe two feet, maybe 18 inches. I'm not sure yet. Are they going to be like the two beds out there or no? Um, possibly, maybe a little shorter than those. And I think I told you before, how are we going to stop the deer from just reaching over the fence and eating your vegetables? Because I'm going to plant all around the garden. There's going to be a barrier. Well, I can't wait to see that. So what are you doing right now? Um, taking apart the 4x8. And what are we going to do with all this wasted wood? It's not wasted wood. I'm going to use them as planting benches for the kids when I do their workshops. We're doing workshops now? Yes. Boy, looks like you're going big time here. No, I want to help kids actually learn how to garden. New name, new attitude. Get rid of the kids. Now she's guiding green thumbs. You need me to do anything? No, no, you stand there and look cute. See, I offered. Boy, you're multi-talented. I'm so glad that I... I got skills, baby. ...married a wife that is uh, not a codependent. No, I'm definitely not. Because I definitely wouldn't want you to depend on me. Now, who taught you how to do that? My father. Oh, come on. <laughs> I knew you were going to say something like that. Yeah. Your father taught you how to drive. We all know that. But and she did learn a few driver. She did learn a few things from me, ladies and gentlemen. I'll take you out, man. <laughs> don't offer to help, honey. I already did, and you said, don't worry, I got it. No, I did not. I'm just taking a break, folks. I got to make her look good, you know what I mean? She is the star of the show. Uh -oh. Expanding the garden, perhaps? No. Filling in the hole, which is going to be filled with what? Okay. Flowers? No, uh, the bee bomb will probably take over, but I don't mind that. Hmm. Huh. That was sneaky. What? Maybe I should start doing all the work. If you want to fill that work. box with this wheelbarrow full of dirt, feel free, but I'm not struggling it twice. Well, you should have thought about that. That's when it. you. That's why I'm dumping it here. Yeah. Look, an airplane. You could have almost filled this box over here. She's procrastinating. She wants. Yeah, you want me to do that? No, I don't. Notice you will not witness her filling this box. You will not. Where are you going to get all the soil for that box? So you're going to remove all these beds in here? No, I probably, I probably will just do one, two, three, four raised beds because this looks, this is a lot of work. Yeah. I might do like a couple every year because I'm not feeling so ambitious right now. You look awful nice for somebody who supposedly has been doing all this work. Oh, God. And, 
and giving me compliments while you're watching me slave well, at 100 pounds trying to empty wheelbarrows and shit. Wasn't well, really a compliment, but. Where's the, where's the shovel? I don't know. What's that handle behind you? The green handle. There, grab me that. Do something. Actually, grab that rock rake and you can smooth this out. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Alright, we'll be back, folks. It'll be the before and after. And I'll be the one with the sweaty armpits. I guarantee you that. Notice how it's expanding. It started with this little tiny hole. There's nothing expanding. There, there was a small hole over here. Oh, there's a big hole yapping behind that camera. Yeah. <laughs> well, let me tell you something. It's a lot of work. What are you doing? What is this going to end up being now? I relax. I literally am filling in a hole where the water like sits. So get your panties out of a bunch. Oh yeah. Is it going to be grass? Is it going to be grass with a lawn chair on it? Or is it going to be no, come a flower bed? It'll be sunflowers. Yeah, exactly. Well, how nice would it be? Have tall sunflowers so you can see from the porch? We're not even into May and you've already took... That's like a one-tenth, one-one-hundredth of an acre right there. It's March. March, whatever. And, and April is coming, not yeah. May. You're losing a whole month. I need that month. Well, I can only imagine. You watch, guys. On, a tenth of an acre by the end of this episode. What? Yeah. Worried about the rainforest. Nobody cares about my property I'm up here. For pollinators. And I also just loaded two. two who, who just took two wheelbarrow fulls of soil over there? Before grabbing the camera. Well, considering I did this whole bed by myself and half of this one. One wheelbarrow full, and you pushed a wheelbarrow that I filled. So Two. So let's, let's, yeah, let's even that out a little. Get back over here. It's getting dark. Yeah. Now we'll be able to get up. And just like that, you're going to have what now? It's going to be your herb yeah, box? Yeah, I think I'm going to do this six by six box as my herb box. So I got chives going in. I got golden oregano this was pretty it's pretty even if you don't i didn't use it last year because it, i just did it for like color and it looks like it's coming back i have some green around the edges so hopefully it fills in but why not make this an herb box sounds like a great idea to me right <laughs> it's all ready to go isn't it <laughs> yeah well i love it i love her three herbs in it I'll put some dill in the back, lavender. What else can go in there? Oh, well, I have the big sage over there, but that's pretty. I'll leave that there. What's that little purple flower over there on the ground? A pansy. A pansy? Yes, I had planters last spring with pansies in it, and they self-seed, and that just popped up. That actually blooms like the beginning of March. Wow. They're pretty cold hardy, apparently. It's really pretty, though. I've been very careful not to step on them. There you go. Did you park that thing any farther away from where I'm working? That's annoying. It should be inspirational. It's annoying. Well. Inspirational would be when you join your partner in, in helping to make her dream it's very hard to film and shovel at the same time. I don't know if you've tried that. I can shove the phone somewhere. Well, Might give you a little bit of help. Well, motivation. maybe we should buy a tripod or something. But you really don't want me in front of the camera because I'll almost take over the show. You know what I mean? Well, I do well, have you charisma. You certainly get a show that would be, I mean, a project done quicker. Well, you, the you may have to hire some co-stars or something. Wait. I'm a producer. You are not productive. I produce behind the scenes. And I don't get much glory out of it either. You give yourself enough. Well. 
I pat myself on the back because it hurts from digging all day. Yeah, let's see if you can empty that wheelbarrow. How do you normally do that? Uh, oh, that's right. You call your husband to do that. Uh, and now it's half full. It is not. Not as full as it normally is. I'm tired. See, ladies, this is something you have to consider when you get into gardening. There's a lot of times where the husband doesn't want to do all the work. So you're going to have to do some of it. And this is exactly where we are right now. As soon as you see me, the plants I have coming from watering over the winter, your ass will be busy. Yeah. I don't believe so. I have to bring home the bacon. So stop spending all the pork out here with plants. Beefing up, baby. Yeah. You will be seeing her doing a lot more labor this year. Because when you start your own business, you definitely have to do a lot more work. People think being the boss is easy. So are you going to leave this garden alone this year or are you going to add stuff to this one too? Depends what it looks like. It looked pretty good last year. I moved it around in the fall though. Originally, you said you were going to get rid of it. I, that's because you promised me a bigger garden. Well, we cut trees down. We're going to expand the garden at some point. That's the problem. You think everything's going to happen immediately. It's not bewitched where you snap your fingers or twinkle your nose and things happen. I got the perfect nose for that, too. Yeah, well, I don't have the perfect ability to get it done oh, look at that. what is this black eyed seasons i know you're gonna feel bad for it if i just throw it in the compost heap so you're welcome to plant it i'll put that in my garden i have my own little garden going on around here i tried to do a pumpkin patch last year but blake called me out on that one I didn't fertilize the, I didn't pollinate the plants or something. These are males. See, there's at the plain stem, that's the male. All right. And you have all. I have all the males. So you, you like to pollinate the pumpkins. Do but, I? Yeah. And how do you do that? I can pollinate it now if you want to see the inside. Yeah, I guess. So, right here, you peel the flower open. Yeah. See that? Yeah. So, like you, all the pumpkins you have, yep. grab a male, and then you can do this up. You take the flower off. And see that's the male? Right there. Yep. So you take that, rub it around. And that's going to grow a zucchini, the yeah. sparks. Usually, if, if I waited longer, that thing would have been bigger. Bigger. So the longer you rub it, the bigger the zucchini, right? Makes sense. No. I'm, what I'm trying to say is if you, like, I took it out when it was too small. But if you let it grow a little more and then you pollinate it, then... The inside would be bigger, but that was small because I was showing you, and it wasn't ready. Well, that's cool. I can't wait to see how big it gets. You didn't pollinate the flowers. Yeah, and I got my eight-year-old son telling me how to pollinate pumpkins. That's right. I haven't even talked to him about the birds and the bees yet. The kid's telling me how plants reproduce. So, I don't know. What have you been... He's getting an education from the garden. That is the pole. Well. Are you tired of shoveling yet? My God, you're doing such a good job. <laughs> if you want, I'll put the camera down and I'll do the rest for you. Cool. So, so the half, but you the half freaking... Well, I'll above. do three quarters of it this time. Well, here. 
Have at it. Thank you. Cut. Oh, call the chiropractor. Oh, we got a comedian. Where you sprung? See, I don't, I don't complain when I work. I just do I it. I feel sorry for all you men out there. Just don't let them get away with it. Stay on your ground. Just like you. And I'm done for today, lady. We got a little bit left. No, I'm done. <laughs> See? Night night. It's dinner time. Thank I'll take you. a steak, please. We support.